Hi, Amy Lumberg here, Fitness for the Soul TV, where I hope you get an idea today that you can take and look at, review, or just sink your teeth in, and hopefully it helps you. What I'm going to talk about today is the four doctors you need on your team. And you're like, four doctors I need on my team, what's that? Well, one of the things that I like to share is that the foundation of the four doctors framework begins from the ancient Greek concept of curing ailments by looking at your pay or the client's diet, rest, and happiness. I think that's one of the things that is missing when we're taking our care of our health is we're always looking at diet and exercise, medications, and stuff like that. But are, where are we happy? Are, you know, where can we improve on that? Because if you're living in America, as I say, you have some stress. And so how can we balance the stress and health and keep ourselves ha healthy? And one of the things is to look at where we are finding happiness. So the do four doctors is Dr. Quiet. And Dr. Quiet is you're sleeping and breathing. So a lot of uh, when I'm teaching yoga, I really focus on deep breath, belly breathing, expanding the ribs out, bringing the navel out, a couple different techniques to really bring the breath down into the body because if we're kind of on the go 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 we do a lot of shallow breathing so we're breathing from the chest up and you'll just see the chest go up and down but the belly is holding still and sometimes some of my clients the hardest thing is to do is to breathe so bring the hand to the belly and just feel the navel reaching out and coming back in and just do slow breathing also sleep we need sleep there is so much research and science out there that says that if we don't have good sound sleep, we can do a lot of damage to our health. And one of the latest things I have listened to um, through listening to doctors and naturopaths speak is that one day of disrupted sleep can cause one day of insulin resistance. That is something that leads to diabetes. So if you're consistently not able to sleep through the night or get to sleep and getting that eight, 10 hours of sleep, then you might be actually naturally building up insulin resistance and not have a clue of what that is or that it's even going on. And that is just an imbalance of blood sugar. But sleep is huge. And that's just one example of what sleep can do if you don't get enough of it. Next one is Dr. Diet. Dr. Diet, of course, is food and hydration. So how much water? are you consuming? And the average, you know, they always say half your body weight in ounces, da 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 da. But if you are just peeing three times a day, you're getting good hydration. If it's just once a day, that's a sign. So I'm just trying to keep it simple. Pee three times a day, you're probably in the good. If you can, get filtered water. I can't say enough. The tap water, the um, well water, get your well water tested, see what is going on, what, you know, if you're next to farmland like we are, you know, and they're spraying the fields, that Roundup and pesticides and herbicides are seeking into the ground and possibly into the well water. Tap water also, just look at what all are the chemicals that are in your tap water, and they do have a factor. There's a huge um, uprise in thyroid disorders, and one of the things that just is coming along is the toxicity of our body and dealing with all the toxic around us and causing havoc with the thyroid. And that's one thing that I'm sorry there isn't a pill for. So tap water, um, excuse me, filter water would be a great start just to improve your health there. Also eating whole foods, um, natural organic food. Dr. Happiness, thoughts and feelings. What are your core values? Are you living up to your core values? What are you, um, what are you doing that just feeds your soul? I mean, literally at the soul level. When I have my clients come in, we're, we're talking soul. We're talking what lifts you up, what inspires you, what gives you hope and love and just that juiciness of life. That's where you want to go towards. Even if it's a baby step, you want to go towards your doctor happiness. And what is that? And where is it maybe not feeding you that you can improve on? The last one is doctor movement, working in versus working out. What do I mean by working in versus working out? Um, well, working in activity is your yoga, your tai chi, your qigong, a lot of mind body movement. That is key. Sometimes I have to share this. If you're one of those 
people that after work you're really stressed out and you just need to go on the treadmill and pound it out on the treadmill it may give you immediate relief but in the long end you're probably really depleting yourself you might have that wired and tired moment going where it's bedtime and you're just exhausted but you're wired and you can't fall asleep you know look at where what the timing of your workouts are and where you can do that best will actually help your hormones stay in balance and assist you in staying healthy versus depleting you. So doctor movement, really look at movement of what is, what kind of movement will help you be healthier. So four doctors on your team, Dr. Happiness, Dr. Movement, Dr. Diet, and Dr. Quiet. So this is Amy Lumberg bringing you a little fitness for the soul talk. Take care everyone.